What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the problem with CrossFit. All right, before I get started, I just wanna say I have the utmost respect for all athletes, for everybody that even engages in physical activities, any type of physical activity, training, swimming, bodybuilding, Olympic lifting, yoga, fitness, CrossFit, all styles of fitness. If you're doing something active, I already commend you and you have my utmost respect. So today we're gonna to be talking about the problem with CrossFit. Before we begin, let's search what is CrossFit? So if you search what is CrossFit on Google, you're gonna get the definition of CrossFit, a high intensity fitness program incorporating elements from several sports and types of exercises. All right, so the definition of the CrossFit on Google, that's actually what I try to do with my training every single day. I try to use the best aspects of different types of training styles to incorporate them into my workout regimen. So now if you Google the purpose of CrossFit, it says CrossFit is constantly varied functional movements performed at high intensity. All CrossFit workouts are based on functional movements and these movements reflect the best aspects of gymnastics, weightlifting, running, rowing, and more. So that sounds great, I'm totally with that. That sounds like you wanna use the best aspects of different types of trainings to get better, stronger, and more efficient. Now, the problem is that over the years has become to do as many reps as you can in as short amount of time as possible, which would mean the faster you do your reps in the shortest amount of time possible equals the more efficiency or the more efficient you are. Now, the truth is anybody that has been training seriously for quite some time knows that doing an exercise as fast as you can in the shortest amount of time possible does not mean that you're gonna become more efficient or more efficient in that exercise. What actually gets you better, stronger, and more efficient is progressional training with proper form and proper technique. Take pull-ups, for example. I've had students come into my gym from a CrossFit gym being able to do 30 kipping pull-ups in a row, sometimes 40, but yet they can't do simple, basic pull-ups. And there's the clear indication of the problem right there. There's no progressional training, there's no proper technique, and there's no form. If you go straight in to doing kipping pull-ups as fast as you can, and that's the goal, well, maybe you'll eventually be able to do 50 kipping pull-ups in a row in under a minute, but you're never gonna move on to more advanced things, one-arm pull-ups, high pull-ups, muscle-ups, and so forth. You're gonna be stuck doing kipping pull-ups forever. You're never gonna progress on to doing more difficult things. When I said that CrossFit sounded like a good idea to me at the beginning of the video, the definition of CrossFit was supposed to be cross-training, taking the best aspects of different types of training and incorporating them into your workout regimen so that you can be doing different things that you don't normally do with the same style of training that you typically do every day, making you more efficient, more functional, and overall stronger. But the proper way to do that is with progressional training. Take the best aspects of all training, but don't half-ass the movements to just say that you're doing that type of training. Every type of training comes with its own progressional steps. So make sure that you're learning about and you're taking those progressional steps. Take pull-ups, for example. Anyone that does Australian pull-ups with good form and good technique is eventually gonna get better at this movement. Eventually, they'll work their way up to jumping pull-ups, muscle-ups, one-arm pull-ups, weighted muscle-ups, and so forth. If you start from day one, doing these. <laughs> You're never gonna go anywhere. How can you expect to turn that into even 10 proper pull-ups, let alone one-arm pull-ups, weighted muscle-ups, or anything else? You're not even getting your body up there, engaging the proper muscles, doing it the proper way with the proper overload. How can you begin to completely control yourself <sighs> if there's nothing controlled about that movement? So here's a little home project, guys. I want you guys to do a pull-up as slow as you can. Do two. 
lasting 30 seconds each. Try that. And then try to do 20 kipping pull-ups in a row. You tell me which one is harder. Write it in the comment section down below. So did you try it? Never confuse high intensity with speed. You can have high intensity and not even do a single rep. Whew. You see those couple seconds right there are gonna be way more intense on your body than the 30 tipping push-ups that you're doing right here. You're really not doing anything actually when you're doing that movement right there. In fact, why do that movement? Why increase your repetitions on something that's gonna get you nowhere? If you were to just practice on something completely controlling your body, start on an easy progression, something that you can completely handle. Eventually work your way up to just one or two normal push-ups, take a break, and practice those perfect push-ups. You'll eventually be repping out 10 push-ups perfectly, 20 push-ups perfectly. The whole point is that you're increasing your perfect repetitions. You're not increasing repetitions that are not gonna get you stronger, better, or more efficient. If you're doing it like that and you're counting it, you're just counting a number. You're just making yourself feel good about yourself, but you're really not gonna take it to the next level doing that. So if you start with the proper progressions, it's inevitable that as you keep going on and you master them, you're gonna eventually be doing more advanced movements. So to sum it up guys, the main problem with CrossFit is that it doesn't stay true to its definition, cross training. Right now, the name of the game is to do as many as you can in the fastest amount of time possible. And the main thing to blame are these CrossFit competitions, these CrossFit championships. Like every single competition, championship in the world, nothing counts unless you do it correctly. In any competition, any championship, Olympic gymnastics, calisthenics, skateboarding, you have to do the move the right way in order to count. CrossFit is the only championship I've ever seen where you can do something completely wrong and still earn points for that. Now, what does that develop? That develops a cheating attitude. You wanna just do it as fast as possible. Hey, I'm doing it the right way, but if the guy next to me is doing it completely wrong <laughs> and he's gonna get points for that, I'm gonna start doing it wrong so I can get more points than him. Now, that creates a huge problem because now it's no longer about the training aspect, the real aspect of the movement, but it's about who's getting more numbers than who. And last time I checked, if we're having a pull-up competition, and you're kicking, that doesn't count. And making those count is not gonna help anybody. It's not gonna help you, the person doing it, and it's not gonna help the people around you that are trying to better themselves as, as well. So the actual definition of CrossFit, the one we read on Google, that's the one that I resonate with. That's the type of training that I actually do, cross training, taking different aspects of different styles of training and incorporating them into my workout regimen. Why? So I can become better stronger, more efficient. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna take out all the fundamentals, all the technique, all the structure to these movements just to say that I can do them and that I can do them with a high repetition. That's not gonna do anything for me. So to sum it all up guys, do not confuse speed with high intensity. And that is the basic problem for CrossFit right now. Remember, it's not what you do, but it's how you do it. You wanna be training in a progressional state so that you are reaching something eventually more advanced, eventually more difficult than what you're doing at the moment. Stay humble during your training 
and train the things that you are gonna be capable of mastering. Do not try to go ahead of yourself. Learn how to properly do things the right way and that is what's gonna make you more efficient. Remember, at the end of the day, if you stick to the fundamentals, you stick to progressive training, you might start off doing Australian pull-ups, but eventually you're gonna turn those into jumping pull-ups, then pull-ups, then muscle-ups, eventually one-arm pull-ups. Now you tell me which person is more efficient, the person that can do something with one or the person that needs two to do the same thing and you can barely even do it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with a friend, comment, and don't forget to subscribe because we post every single Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And the first person to like, comment, and share the video is always gonna win some Thenx gear. And if you guys really wanna start training like a beast, not just looking strong, but actually doing muscle ups, actually training like a beast, actually getting strong, sign up right now to Thenx.com, become a member, download our app to get full access to all our workout programs. Again, not knocking CrossFitters. At the end of the day, cross training is where it's at. That's actually what I do. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.